Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, and in this week's Marvel Super Heroes Advanced Role Playing Game System video, we are going to be talking about life, death, and recovery. That's right. No taxes. No taxes. So, <laughs> basically, if you get hit and take enough damage that your health drops to zero, you are going to be unconscious. That's it. 1d10 rounds. Okay, you're gonna roll for 1d10 rounds of being unconscious. Um, unconscious is unconscious. It's not stunned, it's unconscious. I don't care what the book says. Unconscious and, and stunned are two entirely different things. So when you're unconscious, you can't move, you're not aware of your surroundings, people have to potentially move you off the battlefield or you get hurt more, likely. Area of effect spells or, 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 or abilities, work and they, they can hit you, you could still continue taking damage. Mind you, it's 1d10 rounds of being unconscious um, and you, you're not healing during that point. There is no recovery. See, there's this thing called recovery that you can get. After you've taken damage, once you stop taking damage, you're allowed to recover. That means that you regain your endurance rank points uh, in health back. So if you've got if you take, you know, let's say 80 points of damage and you've got endurance of amazing 50, then you can recover 50 points of health one time per day, 10 rounds, exactly 10 rounds, one full minute after you take damage. All right. So you take that 80 points of damage. Boom. You, you, you're you stuck minus 80. But then 10 rounds later, if you're not taking any more damage and you're just considered, you know, whatever, resting, you you regain 50 hit points. That's basically the best you're going to get for a second wind in this game. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then, then you're going to go for regular heroes. So that's recovery. And then healing is every 600 rounds, every minute, you're going to recover your endurance rank. So if you've got amazing 46 endurance, you're going to recover 46 points per day, per day. All right, so uh, I might have said an hour before. Yeah, my bad. It's per day. It's per day. So every day you're going to get an extra uh, 46 hit points or whatever your endurance is. All right. Uh, if you do get knocked down to zero hit points, you're going to have to start rolling on the kill chart. If you get hit with a, a certain kind of attack that can that causes you to also roll on the, the kill chart, well, then there we are. Okay, if you have to roll on the kill chart, then go and check out uh, certain of those videos. Like, for instance, shooting and edge attacks can get you on the kill chart. And uh, there's the regular endurance loss for white and green has that ES. Go and look there for exactly what ES means. Uh, look on those videos to see what actually counts and whatnot. Uh, life, death, and the kill result itself. But here, actually dealing with those results is something entirely differently, okay? You, you get hit on the kill chart, you're dealing with that, you know, in its own way, as has already been explained. If you get reduced down to zero health, you're also dealing with the kill chart, okay? Mind you, you cannot regain health while you're unconscious naturally, all right? If you've got a healing factor or some kind of regeneration, that's an entirely different story. And lucky you. If you've got recovery, that's something else also. That's a special kind of power. But let's say you, you go to zero health. You now have to roll on the kill chart. If you get, um, uh, let's say, a, a yellow result or, or even a green result, if you get a, a positive result, then you, you're good. You don't lose any ranks of endurance. You're just unconscious for 1d10 rounds. You wake up um, still with zero health. But you're, you know, you're essentially awake, and now if you can not get hurt again for 10 rounds, you recover your endurance rank of health. Very helpful. And then every day you'll recover your endurance rank worth of health again. If you fail your endurance rank, uh, your, 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 uh, your, your endurance feat for the kill chart, that's an entirely different story. Now you're going to continue losing endurance ranks every round that you fail, but you have to roll every single round. And you cannot wake up again unless 
one of two things happen. One, you've got one of those, you know, like Wolverine, you know, where you can regain health and wake up, but you've got recovery also to to help you uh, in rolling against your, your endurance loss. Because mind you, when you're rolling against endurance loss, that you're rolling your current endurance, not your normal endurance. So if you lose, if you've got excellent 20 endurance and you fail a kill result, you actually lose a rank of endurance. You've got good endurance now. Now you're rolling under the good table to avoid further endurance loss. So it's getting harder and harder each time. If you've got a, uh, a power like recovery, you're always gonna roll using the recovery talent, or the recovery power. So if you've got amazing 50 recovery, I don't care if you've got uh, excellent endurance, and, and if you've got unearthly endurance, you're gonna be rolling under an earthly. But if you lose a rank of endurance, you're rolling at monstrous. If you lose a rank, you're rolling at amazing. If you lose another rank, rather than rolling at incredible, you've got that amazing endurance. So you're gonna continue rolling at that amazing. So keep that in mind. Um, and I'll probably talk more about the uh, all that stuff in, in another video about the actual powers. But uh, recovery is really good in that regard. But you're going to keep on rolling until you get lower. Now, once you get to shift zero, now you're at the, the precipice of life and death. If you fail rolling at shift zero, then you have gone below shift zero. Your character is dead. And all sorts of cool rules in the book talking about that. Page 31 is where we actually start talking about that um, in your advanced player's book. Sorry I didn't. I'll make sure I put that up in the video in the beginning. Anyway, um, yeah, page 31. <laughs> so you are technically dead. Your character is dead. Unless you have the immortality power, that's something entirely different. Or if you're a robot, then it's almost like you've got the immortality, but with extra rules to, you got to find somebody who's smart to fix you. But the point is, as a regular character, sans those abilities or powers or origins, um, you are dead. Your character is dead. Now, maybe... You know, somebody can bring you back, uh, the judge, most likely, but for the most part, you dead, man. Now, there are certain, uh, e even if you don't die, okay, if you lose even a single rank of endurance, this is a critical thing. This is, like, literally, this is as critical as critical gets in the game, like, besides dying. Um, this is just shy of that. Now you're going to be talking about... Uh, impaired abilities and disabilities, all right? With impaired abilities, a character who has lost an endurance rank is minus two column shifts until his endurance is returned to the original level. So this is one of those ways where, like, let's say, I love using Daredevil as an example in cases like this because Daredevil gets jacked up all the time. Daredevil gets beaten up so bad that he loses the rank of endurance. He's rolling at incredible for everything now, but he's he, he's good at that point. He, he he's, he's good. He moves on. He's not going to be hurt anymore. He goes in his little trance and all that stuff, and he, um, he, he, he doesn't lose any more endurance after good, but his endurance is good now for the next week. For him, it'll be the next day. But let's say something comes up where he's got to go out and fight. Okay, you can go out there and you can fight Daredevil. But everything that you roll is at minus two column shifts. Because you are hurt. You are hurt. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, one endurance rank. As with regular healing. One endurance rank is recovered per week unless you get full medical bed rest. So if you're actually uh, confined to a hospital or if you've got a private nurse in your other facilities or your home or something like that, then you'll recover endurance at the rank of one per day. Um, uh, the, one other way to get around that is to have the trance ability, like I was just talking about with Daredevil. If you have the trance talent, then that simulates bed rest. You cannot combine the two. I will do a video one day on all talents and we'll get to that there. But uh, you can't double up. I'll give reasons there. Disabilities. A character who has slipped to shift zero in endurance. So that's a f that's not just lost one rank. Okay, that's one thing. If you um, go to shift zero, you run the, r the risk of having disabilities. So you automatically have the impaired abilities thing also. But a character who slips to shift zero in endurance, but doesn't actually die, but that includes immortality or robots. Uh, you are in danger of having one or more of your abilities impaired. For such a character who, sh who slips down to shift zero, even for just a moment, 
Roll each physical ability that is above good. And this is a green feet roll. It's just a green feet roll, but you have to roll each one. Uh, and I don't see anything about you being allowed to add karma to these, but hey, sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, failure indicates that that ability is now reduced to the next lowest printed rank number. So here it's, here's a misprint. Monster, 70, uh, Monster 61. Sorry, bud. Monster, 70, uh, Monster 63. Okay. Uh, 61 is still an amazing, but let's say you've got monstrous 65. Okay. Not monstrous 75, monstrous 65. You reduce a rank permanently. It's at amazing 50. If you've got monstrous 83, well, you're going to reduce down again still to amazing 50. Okay. If you reduce down three ranks, you're going to be at remarkable 30. Main, incredible, amazing, monstrous. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're going to be at Remarkable. Um, it's going to be at the listed rank that you'll see on the universal table. All right, that medium rank. Uh, yeah, that stinks. And the only way to recover, they say here through experience, I think that he, uh, that Jeff Grubb accidentally slipped into Dungeons & Dragons terms, and he meant karma. So you've got to build your abilities up again through karma. That is a permanent loss. Slipping to shift zero comes with great ramifications. Now, that's abilities, ability scores, not powers, not powers, okay? So Storm's weather manipulation would not be affected, but her amazing, you know, uh, endurance ability, yeah. Stuff like that, that will be affected. Most likely will be affected, but you're, you're rolling. Anyhow, um, there are certain ways to, like, once you've lost some endurance, to there's certain stopgap measures that a player can take or other players can take. Spending karma. You can stabilize your endurance for one round by spending 50 karma points. Okay. Um, uh, what do you call it? So, you know, oh, make a roll to not slip under, to, to not lose an endurance rank. So you make a roll. Oh, I failed. Crap. Okay. Well, hold on. I'm going to spend 50 karma points so that I don't lose the endurance rank. Okay, no problem. You just spent 50 karma points. Now, let's say you did slip a couple and you're like, holy crap, I'm in trouble right now. Obviously, it's going to take forever for you to, to build up your, your uh, endurance ranks again. If you don't want to be stuck under bed rest or, or go into a trance so that once a, uh, once a day you wind up increasing your endurance rank, or if you don't have access to either of those and you're stuck, you know, at living at home because you don't have medical insurance, uh, America, and you have to, um, uh, that was a joke, let that go, uh, and you have to deal with uh, uh, just regular bed rest at home, well then, once a week, you're going to increase in ranks. You know that's gonna that's gonna be a, a hard pinch in your character, all right, in your gameplay. So while you're still unconscious, you can choose to spend 200 karma, karma points to increase another rank. Uh, it doesn't say this in the book what I'm about to say now, but keep this in mind. It's my opinion that you can spend 200 karma points for each rank while you're still unconscious to go back to your full rank. So, oh man, you're in danger of losing, you know, losing your life there, but wow, you made a, a miraculous full recovery. Yeah, I happen to have 600 karma points to spare, and I went from good, uh, um, whatever, endurance, up to my maximum of incredible, all right? I already had uh, incredible, I lost three ranks, but before I woke up, full recovery somehow, and I'm back to regular. Oh, you've still got to deal with, you know, all the other crazy stuff that happened. You still got to deal with that health loss. You know what I'm saying? But when you do wake up again, you have that 10 rounds of recovery where you can, you know, now get your full endurance rank, your incredible 40 um, hit points from, from the recovery. So that helps. That helps a lot. Death is a, or, or near character death is a, a scary thing, as I've already explained. So, yeah, <laughs> you got to give the character whatever. Another thing to help to reduce karma loss, or excuse me, um, uh, endurance loss, would be help from friends. If a friend, ally, enemy, or passerby attempts to aid you, the loss of endurance is halted. The, uh, but that's while they're actively trying to help you. If they're like, oh, I'm trying to help you this round, but next round I got to go back and fight, you're still stuck. 
you, okay, you, you you didn't lose any any uh, endurance ranks this round, but next round you're rolling again. Just that's the way it is. You know, I'm I'm either putting my hand on you to hold you, or I'm not. Okay. Uh, if the person has first aid or medicine as a talent, that's one of the situations where they could say, I'm going to stopgap all of this, you know what I'm saying, and I'm going to apply my talent to, to fix this person. Now, this is a permanent, you do not have to roll anymore on endurance loss. But if they don't have any talent in first aid or uh, medicine, or they don't have a, a laying on hands healing ability then that's just, they're actively trying to stop you from bleeding out. Um, the character, if someone is trying to help you without the talents, the character is still unconscious and will be for 1 to 10 more hours. 1d10 more hours, dude. Aid is defined as first aid, summoning help, pushing the character or pulling the character to safety, or even checking to see if the character is okay. Okay, something along those lines. You know, stay with me, buddy. Stay with me. Anything like that will help you to not lose karma points. Okay, they don't have to actually have to stuck, you know, stick their finger inside the bullet wound to, you know, stop the blood from coming out. Any little way they want to do it, uh, that that just adds flavor to the game, and that's a way to add karma. You know, to give karma as a judge, give karma to a player for how they're going to keep the, you know, playing in character and all that stuff. You know, uh, how exactly are they doing that? Regaining consciousness. A character who is unconscious from the result of, uh, they say, stun, it's actually from being unconscious, is um, uh, for 1d10 turns and may act normally from there on. A character with zero health is still unconscious for 1d10 turns, then can make an endurance feat. Failure indicates the character is still unconscious and check again in 1d10 turns. Success indicates the character has regained consciousness and has health equal to his endurance rank. So that's your recovery. That's your recovery ability. The healing itself is an entirely different story. Keep that in mind. All right, there's recovery and then there's healing. Recovery is once per day after 10 rounds. But um, healing is once uh, once per day you get your um, your endurance rank back in health as opposed to the recovery, which is after 1d10 hours. Uh, excuse me, after 1d10 rounds. 10 rounds. 1d10 rounds. 1d10 rounds. You know, I've seen both. I would say 1d10 turns. Yeah, that's what I see most often, 1d10 turns. So, wow. <laughs> this is so much to keep uh, keep track of. But anyway, that's really all there is to it. All right, so... If you get a kill result on you, or if you get knocked to zero, you're going to start rolling on the kill results. Uh, a white means automatic. You're losing endurance. A green could mean you're also still losing endurance if it's like a stabby wound or a shooting wound, something along those lines. Uh, yellow and red are automatic. No, you're good. But that's just simply per round. That's that's per round. You have to keep on making that until some outside source comes and helps you out. All right. Um, uh, what do you call it? If you get a kill result while you're still conscious, that's one thing. That's just an immediate thing like, you know, oh, I lost a, you know, a rank of endurance, but I'm okay now. Oh, now, now that I stopped losing endurance rank, I'm good. Maybe you lost five ranks of endurance, whatever. But once you actually roll a success, then you're good. You can get up and start moving again. But again, with disabilities, if you get uh, knocked to shift zero, or excuse me, to zero health, and you're losing endurance ranks that way, you're unconscious. So you're going to continue losing endurance. You can't physically try and, you know, oh, I'm going to hold my intestines in and, and super glue them or anything like that, or whatever you're doing to keep yourself conscious, okay, to keep yourself from losing endurance ranks. You're not actively doing something. You're unconscious. You're at the whim of your surroundings, of your environment, all right? So if you get knocked down to shift zero health and you're losing endurance that way, that that's when you're dealing with every single round you have to roll. If you succeed, if you, if you pass, then you just don't lose endurance that round. But the next round, you're still rolling. 
unless some outside source helps. Somebody comes along and, you know, stay with me, pal. I got my thumb inside the bullet wound or the stabby wound. Um, or, you know, th th then you're good until somebody who actually knows what they're doing comes along. Somebody with first aid or the medicine ability or a healing power who can then give you health again to wake you up and cause you to you know, okay, now I'm good. I'm going to stop losing. I'm going to stop bleeding out at this point. You know, my wound has been bandaged. I've been cauterized, whatever, you know, uh, that, that's how that, that's all going to work. Uh, but then don't forget that there's the, the, the regular healing, which is the recovery. Uh, after 1d10 rounds of being conscious, you're going to regain health points equal to your current health. Um, and then your, uh, um, your actual healing, which is once per day, you're going to recover your health also. Bed rest, hospital help, trance, all those things don't really seem to affect your health. You could, as an optional rule, do that. I would. I would increase your healing by double, you know what I'm saying, or maybe even triple, depending on, you know, what you're actually doing to to help yourself out. Uh, if you've got somebody that's uh, coming along with you or, or, you know, hospital rest, whatever. If, um, like maybe hospital rest would be three times health, trance would be two times your, your health, and none of that would just be your regular health as the regular rules uh, persist. But um, something along the lines of disabilities, yes, robots can also suffer disabilities. In order for a robot to come, just really quick, in order for a robot to come back to consciousness after being knocked out, somebody's going to have to make a reason feat with the intensity being the robot's highest power rank. So the example here is given the vision. He has unearthly um, density manipulation. You gotta make a reason feat against unearthly. So that might be one of those cases where you're calling in Tony Stark or Henry Pym. You're calling in somebody who's got more reason than you do. You know what I'm saying? Unless you happen to be that guy who has a high reason also. Whatever, your talents, talents are included, but talents related to the robot, all right? So physics would help, robotics would help, repair tinkering, absolutely, that'll help, engineering, electronics, whatever. All those things can absolutely help towards that. Chemistry, depends on what kind of robot. You know, is it an android? <laughs> you know, maybe, biochemistry, help in that regard. But talents like, you know, medicine, depends on how human this character is. Is it a synthesoid? Sure, maybe. Uh, but talents like, you know, geology, no, unless it's a golem. Oh, if it's golem, that would help. Geology would help, all right? Electronics would not. Anyway, just be smart about it. And basically, that's it. That's the gist of everything. It's a very scary thing to be knocked to zero or to get a kill result on you. That should be something that makes the player step back and go, oh, crap, things just got real. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. See you next week. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.